what do you think is your is being self-employed the biggest motivation to keep you working? I think it helps, and I think a lot of self-employed people um, watching and listening today will agree with that. And statistics, statistics have proven that if you work um, uh, in the in the public sector, you are more likely to take sick than even if you work in the private sector. Mm. And the What's ONS your sick record like? I, I can't remember the last time I took a day sick, well, and that is the God's honest didn't truth. Didn't you actually work through two bouts of pneumonia? It's, well, I'm not recommending this one to anyone, by the way, but yes, um, I was editing a national newspaper, and as anyone working in journalism knows, taking a day off is impossible because the news happens constantly. Um, so, yeah, I, um, I worked for two years solid without taking a day off on holiday because I had a pretty uh, demanding boss, and I developed pneumonia, and um, I was in hospital for a day, and and then I went straight back to work. Do you recommend that, though? No, yes, I, as I, I said, mean, that, I'm not recommending it in yeah. any way, shape or form. It's actually a very, very stupid thing to do. And mm. if you are genuinely sick, and this is different, if you're genuinely sick, you are, of course, entitled, and you blooming well should do, take time off to recover. I'm not advocating what I did. I'm also okay. lucky enough to have a job that I absolutely love. Yeah. By Mel, sure that what, are, what are you advocating? What way do you see the, the... You say the system may be broken rather than people broken. Yeah, I think there's two things at play here. I think, firstly, the way that people view work in the context of their lives has changed. I don't think people want to be chained to their desks anymore, um, working through sickness, grief, etc. cetera. Um, but I also think people are feeling under more pressure now. You know, I don't need to mention the cost of living crisis that people are experiencing. And I think that is taking its toll on people's health, both mental and physical. But we know a big proportion of those sick days will certainly be for stress and mental health related conditions. And Mel, it's got so to be connected to the mission creep of work. From the minute people wake up, they're on their work emails. They can get WhatsApps day and night. There's no delineation between work and home. I mean, I look at the front of the Telegraph today and they've got a, a big piece at the top saying, beat the burnout, meet the investment banker, mastering the work-life balance. And people are increasingly struggling with that, aren't they? And perhaps that's why more people are going sick. Absolutely. And statistics show that since COVID came about, people were working 30 minutes and um, extra each day um, and the, the connection uh, or I suppose the balance between work and personal lives has certainly blurred since people started working from home more but also as you know we've got technology that connects us to our work round the clock there is no escape from it anymore and I think that pressure has definitely impacted people. It always amazes me Mel and Dom that the people who would benefit most from unions often are the ones who don't advocate unions and they can't see the, the use of the protection of unions, Don. Um, look, I, I fully support unions. I mean, before I became the editor of the newspaper, I was a member of the NUJ. Um, so, yeah, I totally agree with that. But what, what I want to ask Mel is which part of the system is broken? I mean, because we do seem to be increasingly, I'm sorry, but a sick note of society. I mean, you know... If you're genuinely ill, as I keep saying, obviously you need time off, absolutely. But there's, there's a reason that 25% of all sickness phone-ins happen on a Monday. Yeah. Now, how many of them are genuine? Come on. So which part of the system, Mel, is broken? I think people don't want to work <clears throat> work for employees that don't value them anymore. I think people are tired of kind of working in toxic workplace cultures. And so they don't have that same sense of loyalty to their work, perhaps, that we did in previous times. But I also do think people are under a lot of pressure today. And when you look at families with children, for example, you know, both... Both parents are usually required to work now because of the cost of living. And that has changed dramatically in the last 50 years. So you can imagine, you know, both parents often working full time or even part time is extremely challenging for a household, um, particularly under the financial strain that people are under mm. today. I think it has really mm. taken its toll on people. And I think I they are experiencing I, 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 hear, I hear and I understand what you're saying there, Mel, but there's one big um, motivation in all of this. And you say people don't want to be chained to their desk. People don't want to do this, that. People are a bit broken. But once you, you, people need money, people need to work to pay the bills, which is what drags them out the door and to do things that perhaps they don't want to do, Mel. But I suppose there's a reason why we have sick days included in our contract. It's expected that you'll get sick. People get sick. We're human. And so I think there's just the fact that people are taking them more. I don't think this, you know, particularly generations coming into the workplace 
I don't think they see working through being sick as something to be celebrated. So perhaps there was a time where people thought, yeah, I'm a bit under the weather today. I have a cold, whatever it might be. Yeah. I'll just kind of work through that. I don't but, think people have that same attitude but, I mean, anymore. that just sounds think, ridiculous to me. If I may interrupt you, and I don't know what Dawn's views mm. are on this, but I mean, there's one thing taking a sick day that you're entitled to when you're actually sick. Mm. But for goodness sake, if you've got a cold, pull your socks up, put your big boy pants on and get into work. I don't understand why youngsters think they've got a sniffle are taking and they can't do their job. Not sick. Say that again. And I, thought what we, I was saying it's making the assumption that people are taking sick days because they're not sick. And I think what we also can't measure is when it comes to mental health or poor mental health, I think people are taking more days there. And again, 50 years ago, we didn't have the, mm. the language to even talk about that. And the idea of taking a sick day because stress is getting on top of you or you're experiencing poor mental health was just not something that was taking place. Whereas I think now people are willing to take that time off for their mental health to try and prevent things like getting okay. seriously unwell or experiencing burnout gonna, in the long run. Just going to say, Mel, um, Isabel's right there because <clears throat> this rise in, in statistics of people taking sick days isn't driven by mental health. It is driven by a rise in minor illnesses. So Isabel does have a point that people are developing a sniffle and whereas we would have, as Isabel said, manned up, I know we can't use that phrase anymore, but we would yes, have manned up, no, rolled mean. up our sleeves and got on with it. Okay. I mean, duvet days. I mean, my grandparents wouldn't have taken a duvet day. They couldn't afford to take duvet days. No. Okay, Mel, got to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed, Don. Thank you very much Thank indeed. You. Oh, I do have to Thank say, Don, I mean, I would sum you up oh, as... God. No, there are, <laughs> I think there are type of... Uh, there are people in life who are susceptible, there are people in life who are victims, whatever. You are completely different because even in your dying days, your days off, you're working. As yep. in, and I don't mean, I mean, you're working on yourself, grooming yourself, the way you dress, the things you do, the activities that you do. So do you, think you're, do you think you're exceptional? I... I think you're exceptional. Uh, thank you very much as well. <laughs> Mutual love in here. Um, I don't think I'm exceptional, Eamon, no. Um, but I, I do think that we are losing the work ethic in this country. And I think, I, I mean, you know, as I keep saying, if you are sick, mm -hmm. you, you sick, you take that time off. But it is, the, the rise in long-term sicknesses is rising fast amongst the younger generation. Okay, mm -hmm. lovely, okay. Eat a bag of cement and toughen up. What she said. <laughs>